This video will contain major spoilers for My Hero Academia. You've been warned. My Hero Academia is in its final arc and we are getting epic matchups that have been building since the first chapter of the manga back in July 2014. We have two brothers fighting it out using their manifested power from their daddy issues. Speaking of daddies, here's Endeavors being the best dad for Hawks as they lose their limbs fighting Big Daddy all for one. Then of course, Deku's love interest, fighting it out where the winner gets to make a baby with Deku that will star in a terrible show called Becky Next Generations. Then we have Deku, who took a page out of Goku's notebook only arriving after everyone's dead. The final arc of My Hero Academia is shaping up to be one of the good arcs, but there are some missing ingredients that will make it the best arc. Hello, I'm your friend and fellow Math, and here are 5 things that should happen in the final arc of My Hero Academia. Let's define it. The Return of Labraba and Gentle Hero These two eccentric but adorable villains were introduced in the festival arc, despite initially being thought of as a side cannon father for Deku, both Gentle Criminal and Labraba turn out to be fan favorites. Manami is more than just a hopeless romantic and her character sets her apart from other female characters of My Hero Academia because she did not die nor get horribly injured. Gentle's disposition and failing to become a hero is relatable to a lot of people because admittedly, we have a lot of shortcomings in fulfilling our dreams. Gentle's story of failure gives him the underdog treatment which makes a lot of fans root for his comeback not as a criminal, but as a hero. Gentle Hero Honestly, if they ever come back, I can see them fighting against Skeptic, with Labraba counter-hacking Skeptic and Gentle Hero putting up a barrier in the Flying Fortress preventing Shigaraki from escaping until Deku's arrival which completes his redemption. Bakugo's Quirk Awakening If you have seen Twitter's meltdown despite not reading the manga of My Hero Academia, then I'm sorry to tell you but it is true. Bakugo is dead. Or is he? One possible thing that could probably revive Bakugo even though his heart was completely crushed by Apo Shigaraki is by having a Quirk Awakening. A Quirk Awakening is an incredible ass pool, I mean power app that grants additional strength or a new aspect for their quirk. A few characters have experienced Quirk Awakening before like Toga being able to use the quirk of the person that she copied. Before Bakugo gets severely handed an L like Vegeta after doing his thumb pointing pose, his bodily sweats were seen shining which previously we know that only the sweat glands from his palms are capable of producing nitroglycerin which he uses to make an explosion. After that, we see Shigaraki power drilling Bakugo's heart the way Bakudeku Shippers fantasizes about them. Coincidentally, nitroglycerin is used to relieve heart attack. Too bad Bakugo doesn't have a heart anymore. But maybe Hori Sensei is setting up the cards that Bakugo will somehow revive after awakening his quirk that allows him to use nitroglycerin all over his body including fixing his heart in some miraculous way. Is it possible? Well, we have seen how Quirk can evolve into entirely overpowered things like what happened to Koichi with his Quirk's slide and glide. And speaking of Koichi, the Sky Crawler is here. Koichi, also known as the Crawler, is a protagonist of Vigilantes. Similar to Deku, Koichi is a big fan of All Might and dreams of becoming a hero. Unfortunately, his Quirk, slide and glide is not suited for heroing thus he became what is known to be a Vigilante. With Vigilante's story wrapping up, we know that Koichi is alive. He's just staying away from Japan because of his massive debt like any fresh graduates looking at their student loan. As a professional hero under Captain Celebrity, which will be awesome if he also shows up, Skycrawler is an incredible hero being able to produce force fields at any point of his body, shoot projectiles, and fly or is that falling with style? Although, Skycrawler is from a spin-off. So giving him a massive role in the final arc of My Hero Academia may throw some people off, especially to those who have not read Vigilantes. And if you haven't, what's wrong with you? Go and read it. Go! Go! The most possible way for Skycrawler to appear is with a cameo, maybe keeping the peace in the USA after Stars and Stripes' tragic death, but it'll be awesome to see Skycrawler fight against Shigaraki or maybe all for one. I mean, if we are going to include characters from other mangas, then I hope we get to see the Merc with the Mouth, Deadpool. Deku's Inherited Quirk from the Second User Currently, we know most of Deku's inherited quirks from the former users of One for All. Deku has Fajin that allows him to store up kinetic energy, Danger Sense, the discounted version of Spidey Sense, Black Whip that allows Deku to generate dark tendrils that are good for grabbing, and I'm starting to think that Hori Sensei is just creating his own Spidey. Smoke Screen which gives Deku to generate a thick cloud of smoke, and Float which allows Deku to suspend himself in mid-air. 
The only quirk that we do not know of is the second quirk, which has been described as being that it cannot be wielded in the usual way and should only be used as a last resort. So what kind of quirk is it? Maybe it's an energy wave as seen from the second user in a shooting position. Or maybe it's a quirk that finally reunites Deku with his dad. Speaking of which, Deku. I am your father. Okay, so this has been bagging me ever since Hori Sensei mentioned in 2018 that Deku's dad will make a major appearance in the manga. As far as we know, Deku's dad is working overseas and has a fire breathing quirk. But more than 300 chapters in, and we have not seen his dad. So who is the father? One of the theories is that Deku's dad is secretly all for one. But come on, that is a stupid theory. It's not like Hori Sensei is a fan of Star Wars where he names cities after it. Okay, so I'll give it to you. I know who Deku's dad is. What we know is that he works overseas, breathes fire, should have a shade of green, and is evil enough to not care about his son one bit even after missing for months. Deku's dad is Bowser. But what do you guys think? Will we ever see Skycrawler? Maybe he's Deku's dad. Is Deadpool's Deku's dad? I don't know. Tell me how wrong I am in the comments. Laters!